Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm going to show you how I made a Miller Lite can cake. A lot of the time when I make cakes on my YouTube channel, uh, I have an object that I'm replicating, and I typically keep it the same size. But for this cake, I made it larger, and that's because this cake is actually for a birthday party, and it was ordered by a customer. A life-size can cake is probably only going to feed a couple people. So I blew this cake up in order to feed around 20. And shout out to my newest patron, Himu Basu. I have actually had the pleasure of hanging out with Himu in person because she is also a cake decorator in Texas. So thanks so much for joining Himu. And if you guys are interested in becoming a patron, all you gotta do is go to patreon.com slash sidesurfcakes. So let's get started. This Miller Lite can cake is very tall and very narrow. So I decided to add a little support after three layers of cake to keep it from falling over or leaning. So the support is just putting three straws through those three layers of cake, trimming away the straws, and then adding a cake board. That way, as I start to stack the rest of the cakes on top of that cake board, the bottom layers of cake won't smush. Then I put a dowel through all the layers of cake, including that cake board. Now it's time for a crumb coat. I decided to use chocolate ganache to crumb coat this cake rather than buttercream. And that's because chocolate ganache at room temperature is going to be firm, where buttercream stays really, really soft. So it's just a little extra support using that chocolate ganache. The first crumb coat of this cake is going to not be perfect. <laughs> it's gonna be just a little messy, but really what I'm trying to do is make sure that no cake is showing, the entire thing is covered in chocolate, and then I pop it in the fridge so it firms up a bit. Now that the cake is cool and it's a bit more firm, it's gonna be a lot easier to ice. So I'm adding that second layer of chocolate ganache. This is going to be my layer that is nice and clean and I'm trying to make as perfect as possible. Miller Lite was first sold in 1975, but I should say light beer by Miller because it wasn't officially named Miller Lite until the late 90s. It was the first successful mainstream light beer in the United States and they pushed this ad campaign that managed to make drinking diet beer cool, which apparently was a difficult task back in the 1970s. We have assembled here a most congenial group brought together by the love for a truly great beer. Right, group? Right! I guess beer drinkers weren't exactly worried about dieting at the time. So you go around with a scraper and you scrape the sides of the cake very gently. You don't want to tip it over. And then you go around with an offset spatula and you add some chocolate ganache where you see holes. Then you go back to scraping and then back to filling the holes and back to scraping until it looks nice and smooth and clean. Miller Lite sales peaked in 1990 and then they kind of flattened out and eventually they started dropping and that's because the popularity of craft breweries and craft cocktails started to go up. Who wants a Miller Lite when you can have a dry hopped cosmic armadillo IPA? <laughs> that is a made up beer you guys, as far as I know. So I actually used a turntable similar to a pottery wheel to make the lid. The one thing that you have to be sure of if you're going to do it this way is that that circle is perfectly in the center of the turntable. If it's slightly off, the marks you make will go all oblong. It's super similar to using a potter's wheel. I went around and I added an inner circle and then I took a sculpting tool and kind of moved the edges up slightly, kind of flared them out a bit, and I created this little lip around the edge. Then you place the top on top of the chilled cake, and I trimmed away any excess chocolate just to make sure everything is nice and lined up. So to cover the cake in modeling chocolate, I sprayed the cake with water. Then I took modeling chocolate, wrapped it around the sides of the cake. This chocolate was refrigerated for, I would say about three minutes. That way it's not so cold that it won't bend, but it's cold enough that it won't kind of fold and flop as I pick it up. It has to be a very specific temperature. Now 
now that the cake is covered on the sides, I take a blade and I'm trimming away that top chocolate. I recommend doing a little bit at a time. It's a lot easier to take away small amounts and then have it all line up rather than trimming away too much and then trying to fix that. I know I was talking about how Miller Lite sales kind of peaked and started dropping, but on the Miller bright side, their sales are back up. <laughs> so Miller did this marketing campaign in the movie Anchorman 2. So Anchorman takes place in the 1980s. So Miller used their vintage can design in the movie for product placement. And people like the cans so much that Miller went all out and started selling Miller Lite in those vintage cans. And that's what they still sell today. And that is the design that I'm literally working on for this cake. For the details on the top of the can, I just used a sculpting tool to kind of mark out and score these lines that I see in the real Miller Lite can. Then I added a little tab made of chocolate and I painted the whole thing gold, except for the tab that is silver. For the bottom of the can, I wanted it to taper a bit, so I took a blade and I trimmed away some of the chocolate at an angle, then I went in and painted it silver. I decided to hand paint the logo on the side of the cake. I really appreciate when things are hand painted and handmade, so rather than uh, printing it out on edible sugar sheets, I decided to go in and paint it. I love this design. It's nice and clean. I like those gold and silver accents. It was just really fun to paint. And if you guys like this video, please consider clicking the like button below. That helps us reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now. We put out new videos every Monday. It's a fine Pilsner beer. And there you have it, a Miller Lite can cake. We're not gonna cut into this one, unfortunately, because it was for a birthday, but we heard some feedback and apparently it was a success. They love the cake. This cake is pretty big and I'm pretty sure it would probably feed around 20 people. She wasn't. Let me try again.